Today, I'm gonna to share with you how you can create your very own branded overlays like this one that you can use on your social media videos. You wanna learn how? Stick around and I'll show you. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips and tools to help you share your story. As I mentioned at the start, I'm going to share with you how you can create these really cool looking overlays to use on Instagram or Facebook. You could even use them as overlays in video editing apps like Adobe Premiere Rush. I'm going to be using Adobe Spark Post to create these overlays. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I went ahead and launched Adobe Spark Post here and added a background color. Doesn't matter which one. Right now, we're going to add some elements here for the overlay. I'm going to start by tapping on the plus button and choose icon. I've already typed in square here and let's add that one there. And then I'm going to resize it to make sure it fits kind of towards the bottom of my uh, little shape here. So let's choose that there. And I'm going to angle it like I did there. And let me choose one of my brand colors here because we're talking about branding here. And then I'm going to add another rectangle square and kind of lay it on top of that one. And this time I'm going to use one of my other brand colors here. Maybe go with that one there. Maybe just angle it just a slightly. Let's bring that one down a bit. And now what I'm going to do is add my image here. This is going to be my brand kind of logo here. I'm going to choose image and go to my files and search for this photo. So let's see where I have it. I have kind of some stock images that I use that I took of myself, kind of like my, I should say my brand photos. And let's go ahead and choose that one there. And now I'm going to choose here to move it freely. And next I'm going to choose that crop and shape option down here. I'm going to crop it into a circle. Let's make some adjustment with my picture here and bring that up, move it down there. Maybe just bring it down just slightly a little bit here and then tap on done. So this is kind of like my kind of brand down here. I'm going to move this down here. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to add another shape here. And this time I'm going to use circle and add that behind my photo here. So I'm going to kind of drop it there. It's okay if it's in the front because then I can go to order and move that to the back. Let's bring that size down just a bit. There we go. And go with my brand color here. And then what I'll do is tap on that once again, choose edit. And let's see here, we're going to select multiple. That way I choose my image plus the background circle, choose next. We're going to group those. So that way when I move it, it's together. And we're going to kind of move it down here to the bottom, maybe make it just a little bit bigger. So that's kind of like my brand logo there, my image. And now what I'll do is I'm going to add something on the upper right corner, kind of the same thing. Let's go back to icon. So as you can see, you can continue doing this. Let's add that. Let's go with brand color again. And we're going to add once again, a circle on top of that one. I'm going to choose the other brand color. Let's move this about there. And again, I'm going to select multiple and hit next. Make sure these are aligned, center aligned, middle aligned. And now I can group these and I'm going to move these up kind of down, say not down, but up here to the top. And then I can do something like this, maybe add some text up there. So this will be kind of like an update that I have. That's not the font that I want, but we'll go ahead and fix that. Let's go 
with the shape. Delete that shape, go with the font. We'll go with something like that. Let's change that to white. And now let's say I have like some updates. I can use kind of this space as like, I like a message. So maybe it's an update, maybe it's not, maybe it's uh, a message or just maybe news or something like that. Put that up there. And then let's, I'm going to do this. I'm going to duplicate that text and move it down here and maybe put something like follow me and put that down here. You could always put like a message, whatever you want down here. I'm just going to use that as kind of like a generic fill. Now I'm not going to add my handle here because what I'll do is when I import it to like my Instagram stories, I can add the link in there as like my uh, profile. That way I don't add it here. So it's kind of like a live link in Instagram. Now the next thing I'll do here is, so I have kind of like a template here so I can do this. I'm going to hit the back button and if I want to tap it again and then duplicate this so that I have multiple ones. Tap on done. And now what I'll do is resize this because the one I created is the Instagram portrait size. So let's say I want Instagram uh, story. So then it resizes and I just kind of make some adjustments here. Let's bring this down. Let's bring this one down as well. Make some tiny adjustments here. Bring this, I grouped it. Maybe put it about right there. Bring that here. Let's move this to the top and then add that there. Now I've kind of got my Instagram kind of portrait size and now I have my Instagram story size, which I could also use on Facebook as well. So now what I'll do is add some content or let's say a short video clip here. So now I'll do add video and I have kind of a video that I shot a while back, kind of like an update. Let's go with that one. It's two and a half minutes long. Now, when I create these in Adobe Spark Post, I can only use about 15 seconds. So you have to be kind of intentional when you record your videos, make them 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45, and maybe kind of pause in between so that you, you can create three different uh, videos. So I'll do here is my 15 seconds here to start, which I know this is it. I'll tap done. And if I hit play, it's going to play that video with that audio in there. Go ahead and pause that. Next, what I'll do is tap on the share button. It's going to create the video for me, export it. Now that it's there, I'll hit save the video. Now the video saved to my camera roll. So this is what I can do to create stories for Instagram or any other social media site. Now, if I wanted to create an overlay to use for Adobe Premiere Rush or any other video editing app. So here's what I'll do. Let me first off remove that video. So now I kind of have a blank space. Then what I'll do here is tap on the share button again. And here is the option to create kind of a transparent overlay that I can use. I'll tap on transparent, save image. And then now it is saved to my camera roll and I'll just use that import it when I create my video. I can share it to my desktop if I wanted to use some video editing software there. So that's how you can create overlays to use with your social media stories as well as with video editing apps. Well, hopefully this is something that you can use as you brand your videos and share them on social media. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have any questions or comment, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and turn on the bell to be notified for future videos just like this one. Once again, thank you for watching, and as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.